Well, when you're looking at down at a 40 week, you know, uterus here, stomach that's that big, and you're thinking, well, there's only one way this can come out, uh, down there or out there, and either way, it's probably gonna do some stuff, you know? <laughs> do some stuff. Do some stuff. So let's, let's start with a C-section. But because so many women have questions about C-sections because it's, it's a surgery. And one in three women are having C-sections in America now. It's, it's, it's so common, you know, that number, whether or not the number is too much. And what happens in a C-section is basically we make a little bikini incision um, on, the ab on the stomach and then when we get inside after we've separated the muscles and the, the lining that's inside and we get to the uterus, then what happens is we make a little incision, again, another little incision, and it's called a low transverse incision. If everything's going well and we have time, we make an incision this way, okay? And actually we start in the middle and then we kind of guide it up with some bandage scissors so that we don't obviously hurt the fetus and, or the baby, okay? And, you know, this is all done under epidural. You're awake, you bond with the baby just as well as you would afterwards. And it's, it's very, very safe. Now, if there was something called a crash C-section, and this is what people don't understand, bad things can happen really quickly in deliveries. Crash C-section means we actually can get the baby out in five minutes with a C-section. And that's if the baby's heart rate has gone down, it's not coming up, it's a rescue situation. So the fastest way to get in then is to do a vertical incision. Is that okay? when you cut the muscles, you don't separate them? Yes, that's when, because it's just, it's, it's cut, 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 in, baby out. And Five minutes. a longer recovery, though. Yes, a vertical is extremely hard. In a lot of underprivileged countries that I've gone to, they'll just make verticals because it's faster to get into. But that's understandable if they have only spinal anesthesias or certain anesthesias where they can't take their time. So this is the type of thing that you want to stay away from. But if you've got to get a baby out in five minutes to save a baby's life, you, you got to do what you got to do. You do what Why you did she say do. she got an infection? Do you put people on antibiotics after you do this? They do get antibiotics at the beginning, and that's because anytime you cut, you have a risk of getting infection. Anytime you cut the skin, just like when we were talking about pimples, yeah. anytime you cut the skin or you break the skin, you have a risk of infection. So it's a little bit longer stay in the hospital. It's about four days as opposed to the. Um, Travis said the old-fashioned way. You know, it depends, okay? This is the caveat to the, to the old-fashioned delivery. A lot of people will think that, okay, the C-section from cutting is going, with a longer recovery, is going to hurt more. Well, when, in, like in they showed in the video, the one woman talked about episiotomies versus tears. Now, we don't necessarily do episiotomies anymore. We okay. like to massage the area. Explain. <laughs> Does everybody know what this is? This is where we cut the tissue between the um, vagina and the rectum, okay? Yeah, it's got to come out some way, people, <laughs> right? You know, it's just, that's what you realize. And so where we make a little cut between the vagina and the rectum to facilitate the delivery of the baby if it's large or something like that. So we only do this in instance, instances where that's what's really keeping the baby from coming out and the mother can't push through it, or we think the mother's going to tear worse. Because what can happen is if, you know, it's between the vagina and the rectum, and if that tear keeps going, you can tear through your rectum. So, again, it's got to come out. So if you tear through your rectum and you're thinking about the fact that you have to go poop down there too and you have these bodily functions, that's going to hurt. And you have to sit on it and things like that. That can actually sometimes hurt much more than a C-section. Based on what you just said, should a woman choose to go with a C-section? I mean, that's scary. Not necessarily so. because, again, a C-section is surgery. And, you know, like I, you know, really ripped this woman's... Into bits. You, but you went down there, Dr. Lisa. What we do is we give a little shot of lidocaine, right, with a needle. This okay. is why it's actually one reason women ask me about epidurals. They'll say, you know, do I really need an epidural if I'm going to have the old-fashioned delivery? Well, sometimes during labor you may not. But afterwards, if you have a tear, then we have to give you a shot in your bottom, you know, to get everything numb so that we can go ahead and then repair put you back together down there, essentially, wow. okay? So basically, you know, we take the stitch and we're down there and we're sewing you back together again, okay? Whew. Okay. Thank, Thank you, you so much, Dr. Lisa. Thank you.